Let's talk about uh, generating leads with the Google Display Ads, which is not really typical use of, um, of Google Display Network. Traditionally, Google Display Network is, uh, is used to, to show your brand for brand awareness and brand recognition. And um, so your ads will be seen by people who browse internet, um, watching YouTube or checking email. But it is possible to, to generate leads effectively, effectively with Google Display Ads. Let's look for uh, at eight tips which can help do that. Um, here we go. So uh, the tips will will fall into three buckets. First, you have to use the right message, and the message is determined by the goal of your campaign. Then, to you have to use the right targeting, and you have to measure uh, conversions correctly, specifically for display ads. So let's look at each tip one by one. So um, don't focus on hard sell, meaning in um, people who, who view display ad, they are not searching for the solution right at this moment, unlike in a, in a text search ads, when they type in something and they expect the answer. Instead, people are um, in, in a phase of uh, informational, informational search or consideration. That's why you have to tailor your message accordingly. Uh, don't use, uh, so, and how do you do that? You do that by, um, by using specific call to action. Call to action should not be, um, should not be by now or um, contact us today. Instead, it should be something uh, softer selling. Let's look at uh, what can be done. Where can it be done? So, uh, and uh, if you create a display ad, you have two options, response to display ad and upload display ads. Upload is, uh, I don't recommend using a, uh, upload display ad, which is kind of like old school. Instead of you use a responsive display ad where you, you provide uh, where you provide uh, several images, uh, you can even provide several videos, headlines, and descriptions. And Google then will mix and match them and fit them uh, into the publisher's website, blending with a font, which is very important. It will create an impression of, uh, of a native ad. So uh, when we were talking about the call to action, so where do you use specific call to action? Well, obviously not, a head, not in headlines, which is, it, it's kind of, it's possible, but it's, it's difficult. Uh, you could use uh, it in description. For example, in the end of the descript description, you can say something like, uh, try for free, or download, uh, download the list of tips and tricks, which is a kind of lead magnet, but it's appropriate and people more likely uh, in display network to click on that when it's a, it's not a hard sell. Another area where you can use specific call to action is actually you can customize call to action button, text on a button. By clicking this and clicking on this option, you see how you can select different uh, call to actions. So um, I would recommend to use uh, uh, things like sign up, maybe subscribe, and learn more. I would not use shop now, apply now, book now. So that's, uh, that's a call to action. Then, uh, Right targeting. Targeting is very important because uh, Google ad, um, Display Ads Network consists of huge amount of websites and uh, it, it actually uh, it will use up all your budget and 
in most cases, it may go to wrong clicks and will, uh, you will get very low efficiency. So uh, there are many targeting methods and uh, let's look at, at several of them. First, remarketing. Remarketing is the first thing you should consider with display ads. It's especially if you have tight budget. It's basically a way to show your ads to the visitors of, of your site. It, it increases uh, possibility of converting them. Because uh, imagine someone is checking uh, different sites, let's say they check 10, 15 sites, and he doesn't even remember, maybe he liked your site. But if you keep appearing uh, in, in his browser, then it's more likely that the person will click and convert. Another way uh, of uh, good targeting is placements. Place placements is basically where you specify URLs or sites where your ad should, ad should appear. This is not, uh, it, I mean, the, the downside uh, placements will limit the, um, the, uh, your ads in a way that it will not show in any other placements. So this should be used sparingly. But, um, or unless you, you know that you, the specific sites where, uh, where your products get, um, people who are interested in your products hang out a lot. But uh, the good thing is when you start, um, when you start this audience, when you start at a new placement, you can type in the, the topic or the keyword and Google will suggest you several sites and the YouTube channels with uh, with approx approximate number of impressions. So you can actually pick from there. Next good uh, targeting option is custom intent audiences. It's basically a combination of keywords and uh, uh, placements, but uh, you, can, um, you can select, let's say three topic keywords and uh, several URLs up to, Google recommends up to 15, so that Google analyzes that and then starts showing your ad to people who are interested in those topics or visit those sites. So this is not as straightforward as placement, but it's kind of uh, an, another level of automation. And it can be very, uh, very efficient too. And uh, of course, um, you, there is a lot of clicks that are really not relevant and you should ex exclude irrelevant content and sites. I usually exclude um, all um, apps from all um, ads from mobile apps. In 99% of cases, mobile apps is not where my clients want to see their ads. And also, uh, I will uh, I exclude uh, a bunch of uh, uh, URLs, known URLs like games, that are really not not going to produce any conversions. And also, some uh, several uh, YouTube channels like kid-related YouTube channels. I have a, um, a list of more than thousands or thousands of those. Uh, you can uh, download it by clicking uh, the link in the description. Now let's talk about a measurement because this is important to know how effective your display ads are in conversions. Uh, first of all, um, use the correct attribution model. Uh, the, the simple rule of thumb is don't use last click because very often people convert after clicking, um, after clicking to your display ad and coming back uh, several days later and clicking on your other maybe search text ads and converting on that. With the last click, you will not know uh, the, the contribution of that first um, uh, display ad. But there's another thing. People convert even after viewing your display ad without clicking it. And there is actually a way to view that, to see that in your uh, Google Ads reports. Uh, it's as simple as adding the special column, view through conversions column in the reports. This is how it looks. Here we can see that a campaign display remarketing blog has generated uh, conversions, e.g. sale 
one conversion and six view through conversions, meaning that someone has converted after viewing ad from this campaign without clicking and converted elsewhere in this account, probably on a, on a search ad. This is a great way to justify the value of a display campaigns and, and also viewing uh, the contribution of display campaign. So here are uh, the eight tips and a um, couple of thoughts at the end. Um, experimentation is key. The good thing is it's easy with Google Display Ads because um, you start experiment and you run it for three, four days and you get enough data to decide to, to understand if it's been good or not. Clicks are cheap, clicks come quickly. For example, I would recommend to set up the ad group for one ad group for placements and one ad group for custom intent audiences in the same campaign. Maybe uh, play with different custom intent audiences, uh, but be mindful of, of, of the budget and then see if, if it has worked or not. And uh, mm, I hope it's been helpful for you. Um, let me know if you're interested in some, anything in particular of these topics. By the way, if you're interested in uh, um, attribution model, uh, there is another video in my channel, uh, check it out. And uh, let me know what else, what other topics in about Google Display, uh, about Google Ads, you are interested in hearing about and uh, subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.